Hello again, sixth grade exploring music. Hey, it's Mr. Kozlowski or Mr. K from Nicolet Middle School here again. Hey, I want to talk to you today about the first element of music that we're gonna go through in our elements of music, and that's rhythm. Rhythm is really important to me because I'm a percussionist or a drummer. So I really love rhythm, and that's kind of why I got into drumming and actually why I got into music in the first place. So let's go over everything rhythm related, okay? Here is rhythm explained. Up here on the top of the screen, you will see the definition. Rhythm is the element of time in music. And the example I wanted to use is when you tap your foot to the music, you're keeping the beat or you're following the pulse of the music, okay? There are three important parts of rhythm. The first one is tempo. Tempo is the speed, or it's how fast or slow the music is being played. The second one is duration. And duration is how long a single note lasts. You remember from the last slideshow maybe that we had a whole bunch of notes we explained. We're gonna explain those a little more in detail today, but more talk about duration than anything else. And then a tricky word called meter. And meter are the notes and how they're grouped. So are they grouped in sets of two? Are they grouped in sets of three? Or are they grouped in a different setting at all? Okay? So those are your three kind of important parts of rhythm. Let's take a closer look at each of these quickly. The first one is tempo. Tempo, as it says, is how fast or slow the steady beat of a piece of music is. Um, so if you look at my cursor here, you can see there's a list. And this is interesting. When we talk about music, it's often in Italian. So all these words here are Italian, OK? And in the middle, we have the English translation. So for example, lento is Italian for really slowly. And here they use the example of a snail for super slow, OK? And the list goes all the way up from slow to fast. Presto, or very quickly, and they have a cheetah here for that, OK? So these are tempos. Lento, largo, adagio, andante, allegro, vivace, and presto. And you can see the translations here, OK? Um, you don't need to know all these. But they're kind of fun words to, to kind of see. So if you want to watch this again or kind of pause it and just look at that for a minute, that'd be fine. On to our second tempo slide. Tempo is measured by a metronome. And you can see here, this is what a metronome looks like. I think you've seen it all before. And it measures how many beats fit into a minute. Okay. And off screen here, I have a metronome with me and I wanted to play some for you. The first one I have is Adagio, which is slow. It's about 60 beats in a minute. And here's how slow that is. One, two, three, four. You can hear that's very, very, very slow. And that means if it's 60 beats in a minute, that means there's a beat every second. Now, if I go up to 180 beats a minute, which is presto, you'll see that that's three times as fast. It's very, very, very fast. This is three beats a second. And that's your presto. So music can be anywhere from very, very slow to very, very fast. But that's how we define tempo. Next is on to duration, or the length of notes and rests. Now, I know in the first video we kind of talked about this. We're going to talk, we're going to talk about it a little more today, but we're not going to get too in-depth. Just know there's a little bit of math involved here, but it's not hard math. This is the written, written system that we use uh, for notes. On the left side here are all of our notes. And on the right side are all of our rests. For here, you can see this whole note gets four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The same thing happens with the whole rest, except it's just it's just a pulse and there's nothing happening. Rest, 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 rest. And it goes on down, okay? So the whole note gets four beats. The half note gets two. One, two, one, two. The quarter note gets one. This is the actual like main of the beat. So when you hear a beat, this is kind of what you're hearing is the quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can split it down in even further. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And we, if we want to, can split it up into even further. These are called sixteenth notes. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. That's hard to do with your cursor. Now, 
Each one of these also matches up to a rest because you have to have the rest in there so you have the correct amount for the math. So if I'm having, for example, I could do two quarter notes and I could do two quarter rests and that would equal up to one whole note or four beats, okay? So that is kind of a quick intro into your duration length of notes. The next one we're gonna talk about is meter, okay? Now, SpongeBob here is kind of telling you that there's a lot of math in this, but again, we'll keep it fun, okay? This, the, the rhythm can be grouped into different ways, okay? And this is the meter, okay? It can either be grouped into groups of two or four, this is sometimes called duple, which is an important word, or groups of three. And this is called triple. Now, if you're in duple, notes grouped in two or four, you'll see that this is the quarter notes that we talked about earlier. It's one, two, one, two, one, two. And you can think about this as like the alphabet song, okay? The alphabet song is a duple song because it's in grouped in two or four. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. You can see it fits into that two, four thing, okay? We also have triple, or notes that are grouped into three. Um, you can see this is one, two, three, one, two, three. You don't have to worry about these for now. We will discuss those later, okay? But if you talk about row, row, row your boat, uh, row your boat is, is grouped into three. If I sing it slowly, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. You can see that that's three, four time. There's three beats kind of in every, every one. And the last part of row your boat is the best. Merrily, 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 merrily. You can see that doesn't fit into the two. Merrily, you need another one. So that one's got to be a triple meter, okay? So what did we learn today? You should know these things about this rhythm lesson for today. How do you define rhythm, the overarching rhythm? What are the three main categories in rhythm, and can you explain them or define them? What is a metronome? And what do duple and triple mean? Okay? Hey, if you have any questions, contact your music teacher. Uh, we're happy to answer questions for you, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Hey, we're really excited about this Elements of Music lesson. This has been really fun for us, and we will see you guys again soon. Thanks so much.